Coliseum in Uniondale, New York, ESPN, your total sports network. Tonight brings you live the Chicago Blackhawks and the New York Islanders. And welcome to the Nassau Coliseum in Uniondale, New York, home of the Stanley Cup champion New York Islanders who tonight take on the Chicago Blackhawks. I'm Sam Rosen along with Pete Stemkowski. A pleasure to be with you once again on these NHL telecasts. Tonight, the New York Islanders, who just had their record-breaking winning streak snapped at 15, will start try to get a new one started as they take on the Blackhawks. And Pete, what can you say? The Islanders just had everything going in that streak. And you wonder now, maybe might they let down or will they shoot for you know, another streak toward the end of the season. Well, Sam, I think that there's a little less pressure on them now. When they were shooting for that record, there was a tremendous amount of pressure on this team to break that record. They broke that record, so I would have to say that there's a little pressure taken off them. Right now, they are obviously, obviously are going to win that Patrick division. There's no question about that. What they want to do is finish number one overall. They, they're playing people that haven't played much. They're trying to get everybody into the lineup, getting their power play, their penalty killing, their line set, and they are thinking ahead. They're gearing themselves for the playoffs. We've talked so much about the great names on the Islanders, Trache, Bossy, Potvin, Billy Smith. This is a team that's won two Stanley Cups, now has the record for most consecutive wins. How does it compare with some of the great teams that you played against uh, back in the in the 60s and 70s, Pete? Well, when I was especially with the uh, with the Rangers, we seemed to come up against the club that was hitting its prime all the time. We played the Boston Bruins with, of course, the McKenzies, the Bobby Orrs, the Phil Espositos, the Derek Sandersons, the Jerry Cheevers. Excellent team, a very physical club. They won by just brute strength going into the corners and hammering you and they just intimidated you then we had the of course the Montreal Canadiens they had some fabulous clubs and I'm not really sure that there'll be anybody that will be able to touch the, the the likes of the Lafleurs and the Lapointes the Lamares the Dave Drydens those they were outstanding hockey teams there was a club the Montreal Canadiens back in the uh, uh, early 70s where uh, out of a 70 game schedule they would they would lose maybe eight or nine games so that was a club that had great speed this Islander club the thing that really impresses me, they can play any style that you want to play. Right. If you want to play tough, they'll play tough. You want to play a good, clean, hard-checking game, they'll play that too. An outstanding club, and certainly this Islander club will go down as probably one of the best in history. The Islanders, the team of the 80s. Now the Chicago Blackhawks come in having just made a coaching change. Keith Magnuson resigned. Bob Pulford, the general manager, has moved downstairs, and they're seemingly playing a little better. Well, they were disorganized. You know, you can't use injuries as a crutch in the National Hockey League. All the teams have them. This club has really been hurt, especially back on defense. Chicago, usually a pretty good defensive hockey club. This year, they are third worst in the NHL. The Chicago club has not won here since 1974, so they're going to have their hands full here tonight. It's the Chicago Blackhawks and the New York Islanders will be set to go with the opening faceoff in just a moment. In goal, Roland Melanson, and in goal for Chicago, Murray Matterman. There you see uh, Matterman on the left of your screen hasn't played much. You see his record for the season. And Roland Melanson getting the starting assignment here. Tonight against the Chicago Blackhawks. Melanson in his 28th start of the year, a 3.35 average. The uh, Islanders have won 12 consecutive home games. Referee tonight is Ron Hogarth, the linesman John D'Amico, and Randy Mitten. Islanders in white, Blackhawks in red. Lysiak and Trache on the faceoff. Last time we were here, Islanders won 8-2, and Trache got five goals. Islanders just beaten went on Sunday night in Pittsburgh 4-3 by the Penguins, stopping their 15-game winning streak. Lysiak carries for Chicago. In the corner after it, Bossy. Along with Secord, Lysiak pokes it around to Secord. Knocked free by Bossy. It's in the corner again. Secord works it out. Tied up by Bossy. Bossy gets it up to Trotje. Islanders come up. Dennis Potvin, who's really come alive the last couple of weeks. Onside is Trotje. In front is Potvin. The shot is stopped by Bannerman. And an excellent play there as Brian Troche broke open on that right side. Got a great pass from the defenseman. Here's Potvin. Now, actually, after he gives that pass, see him. You can't quite see him. He loses him on the screen, but he goes straight for the net. Here's Troche using his body to go around the Chicago defenseman. Centers it out to Potvin, who goes right for the net. But I don't think Potvin got that much on it. Here's the shot by Potvin and Bannerman right there to cover up on the play. In an anxious moment early in this first period for the Chicago Blackhawks. Trotje wins the draw back to Langevin for a drive that deflects wide behind the net. In front, Bossy shot stopped by Bannerman. Rebound played by Greg Fox up the board to Secord. Secord feeding Lysiak. 
puts it in to the Islanders zone. Longevin Afric. Melanson winds it around right to Secord, but Melanson sticked it away on the centering try. Lysiak blocked a clearing pass. Lysiak in the corner. Centers, and it's broken up by Longevin. John Tonelli puts it around. Lysiak is there. And it's frozen for a faceoff. Blackhawks doing a good job of forechecking. And we'll get a faceoff in the Islanders zone. Blackhawks coming in, having won five of their last nine. And there are the scratches. Reg Kerr, Daryl Sutter, Keith Brown, Glenn Sharpley, Bob Murray, all injured. Miles DeHarco has gone to Indianapolis. And uh, the and DuPont just not playing. Goring, Lane, and Moraney scratch for the Islanders. Well, there you see three guys that the Islanders are not even playing tonight that could be regulars on any other team on this in the National Hockey League. This Islander club is so much depth at every position. Brent Sutter wins the faceoff, comes up feeding Gillies. Sutter was incredible during that winning streak. McEwen feeds Gillies for a shot high and wide. Far side, Dwayne Sutter keeps in. Brent Sutter in the corner, checked by Wilson. Around the boards, picked up by Dave Hutchison. Hutchison couldn't clear. McEwen's shot is blocked. Out comes Terry Ruskowski. Feed for Mulvey is by him, broken up by McEwen. Mike McEwen sends it around to Janssen. Janssen up the boards to Dwayne Sutter. Taps it ahead to Brent. Feed for Gillies. Off his skate. Was looking for a breakaway. Dave Hutchison comes back. Feed to Ruskowski by him. Ruskowski chasing with Janssen. Melanson right, winds it around to Dwayne Sutter. He's tied up. Janssen goes in. Works it free from Rich Preston, gets it up to Gillies. No score, we've played two minutes, first period. Islanders and Blackhawks at the Nassau Coliseum. Brent Sutter going by Dave Hutchison. In the corner, loose puck behind the net. Ruskowski gets it over to Fox, lost it to Dwayne Sutter. Fox hits Dwayne Sutter behind the net. Puck is still loose, digging in Brent Sutter in there, number 21, with Fox. Brent Sutter works it free. Nice work by Brent Sutter. Potvin from the point, blocked by Grant Mulvey. Loose puck, Ruskowski tries to clear, can't do it. Brent Sutter, across the potman off his skate. Knocked in front, saved by Batterman, he holds. 17-29 to go, first period, no score. We'll be back in just a moment. Murray Batterman coming up big on the scramble in front, keeping That's the Blackhawks... Uh, tied with the Islanders at no score. Well, that line of the two Sutter brothers and Gillies, they have really caught fire the last couple of weeks. And just some great work along the boards by, by Sutter. Here you see Potvin coming in a little deep, looking for that pass. But the Islanders able to control the puck inside the uh, Chicago Blackhawks zone. And Bannerman making the save. Billy Carroll on to take the face off against Savard. Won by the Blackhawks. Fox behind the net. Winds it up to Dave Feimster. Couldn't clear. Potvin throws it just wide. Head bully on the far side. Banks with Nystrom. Morrow sends it back. Billy Carroll. Dennis Potvin in his own end. Now it's Kenny Morrow carry. Morrow fires in off the boards. Bannerman plays it to Greg Fox. Around near side. Tim Higgins, number 15, over skates. Gets back for it. Fox tying up Billy Carroll. Higgins ahead. Bully clears the zone to Savard. Savard going in. Savard shoots. Save made by Melanson. Rebound. Morrow able to clear out. Knock back in. Blackhawks are offside. 16.47 to go. First period. No score. A look at Dennis Savard, who already has broken one of Stan Makita's all-time records uh, for the Blackhawks in team assists. He was the uh, Chicago first draft pick a couple of years back. Uh, he's only 20 years old. So far, he's the leading scorer for the Blackhawks. 29 goals. And get this, 68 assists for 97 points on the season. And he is closing in on Bobby Hull's Blackhawk team record for most points of the season. Melanson leaves it for Dave Langevin. Islanders come up. Feed ahead on the right wing to Bossy. Bossy, who's been held scoreless the last two games. Picked up by Bill Gardner. Feed on the left wing for John Marks. Marks having trouble with it. Gets it ahead to Patterson. Rick Patterson, number 26, to center. Chased by Pearson, lifts it in. In the corner, Dave Longerman for the Islanders. Checked there by Gardner. Got it around to Pearson. Bossy gets it up to Trotje. Ryan Trotje with 98 points on the season goes in against Hutchison. Backhander is knocked aside by Bannerman. Longerman plays the rebound. Save made by Bannerman. Bossy with a rebound behind the net. In front for Trotje. And Bannerman's got the puck. He holds on. If you want to stop the New York Islanders, they got a lot of firing power on this club, but certainly. The one element that you have to eliminate if you want to beat them is you have to stop that line of Bossy, 
Trache and Tonelli. They just control the play every time they're on the ice. Here's Bossy coming in behind the net. He's looking for uh, Trache right there for a quick uh, tap in, but uh, Trache not able to get uh, uh, all of his stick on it. And that youngster right there, Murray Bannerman, uh, covering up on the play. 15-59 to go, first period. No score, as Pete mentioned at the top of the show. Blackhawks have not won here at the Nassau Coliseum since 1974. Loose puck behind the net. Brent Sutter tying up Greg Fox. Fox kicks it away. Caroms off the corner glass. Gillies puts it back in the corner. Gillies behind the net to Dwayne Sutter. Broken up by the Hawks. Gillies beats Brent Sutter, who shoots wide. And the Hawks able to clear out. And back for it is Thomas Johnson, chased by Al Secord. Gives it to McEwen. Both of the Chicago defensemen getting caught out of position, leaving Sutter wide open in front of the Chicago net, but he was unable to hit that open corner. McEwen driving it, and Karam right in front. Weird Karam off the boards, hit the corner boards, hit the boards behind the goal, and Karam right in the Where's that carpenter, crease. huh? We had that problem <laughs> in our last telecast. As we see Sutter here, and that, what a hockey flam family that is. Here's that uh, Gilly, so strong in those corners. Now watch this, here's Dwayne Sutter going behind the net. Now Brett will be out front. He'll be all by himself right there. There's the pass, he's got the side, but he misses it. Here Bannerman doesn't give much to shoot at, but Brent Sutter shoots it wide. The Islanders controlling play, and much of this first five minutes of this first period, completely dominated by the Islanders, and all of it played mostly in the Chicago Blackhawks zone. Brent Sutter, 19 years old, called up from Lethbridge there. They're checking the oh. boards where that uh, Puck took the weird carom. Well, it did that in our last telecast here when the Philadelphia Flyers were here, resulting in a goal. The puck was shot behind, hit a board, come out front to an Islander player, and in. Uh, we'll have that checked out. <laughs> we'll put that down in our notes, will we? You know, this is the thing that the Islanders do so well. They play the game so long in the other people's zone that eventually, with that happening, there has to be a breakdown. And uh, this is a big uh, uh, pressure. A lot of pressure is being put on the Chicago Blackhawks defensemen. Every time they go back to get the puck, they are being manhandled and pushed off the puck. And in time, this will result in, the, in, the, in some great scoring chances for the Islanders. Islanders win the faceoff. Pearson keeps it in, taken away by Lysiak. He lost it to Dwayne Sutter, gave it up to Greg Fox. Out to center. Secord fires it in. And it caromed off a stick into the crowd, stopping play. 15.09 to go, first period. Al Secord, what a season he's having. 38 goals. Had a couple on Sunday when the Blackhawks beat Quebec in Chicago. Yeah, he came over from the Boston Bruins, and I'm sure that uh, our, uh, everybody in Boston, there, Jerry Chivers and company, and Harry Sinner, and trying to figure out what it came to Secord. Not really a big scorer with the Boston Bruins, but since coming over to... Uh, the Chicago Blackhawks has certainly found the net. He was Boston's number one choice back in 1978. 38 goals for the season. Sent down by the Islanders. Back for it, Dave Hutchison, number five. Chased by Bobby Bourne. Fed it in front, and Wilson almost put it in his own goal. Rich Preston comes out. Lifts it into the Islander end. Off the glass, played by Grant Mulvey. He's hit by Langevin and takes it away. Langevin, cross to Bobby Nystrom. Nystrom with Carroll ahead of him. Beats the left side for Bourne. Hutchison goes into the corner with Bourne. Carroll goes in to help out with Preston. They look to freeze it, and they do. 14.32 to go first period. No score. We'll be back in just a moment. Sam Rosen and Pete Stemkowski at the Nassau Coliseum. We watch Dave Hutchison go back with Bob Bourne after that puck. Now watch how quickly the Islanders get on him right there. Actually, Hutchison, I don't know, he's colorblind or what? Throws it right out in front. Doug Doug Wilson. Wilson. Yeah, Doug Wilson, and Wilson is as surprised as anybody in the building to get that pass. Blackhawks have the puck. Greg Fox out to Dennis Savard. Savard fires in, played by Melanson. Drops it off for Potvin, up the left side of Bourne. Islanders come up. Billy Carroll, number 25, right side of Nystrom. Fox breaks it up. Islanders regain in center Kenny Morrow. Back pass to Potvin. And Potvin ahead off the stick of Carroll. Bannerman leaves it for Fox. Greg Fox has had a lot of problems of late. Almost lost it to Bourne and fires it around all the way down. This will be an icing call as Kenny Morrow goes back to make the touch. 13.51 to go. First period, no score. Got more exciting NHL action upcoming for you this Saturday afternoon 
live from the Capitol Center in Landover, Maryland, 1.30 Eastern, 10.30 a.m. Pacific. The Hartford Whalers, who recently went on a 10-game unbeaten streak, take on the Washington Capitals. Should be a good one. Both clubs uh, fighting for playoff positions. Uh, Washington are currently last in the Patrick Division. They are, uh, what, 11 points uh, back of the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins for that last playoff position. Hartford, well, they're going to have some problems. They have to catch Quebec. And they are, what, uh, 20, 21, 21 points point. behind. But they got some young, uh, exciting hockey players. The Whalers, they got uh, uh, Francis. LaRouche. Uh, LaRouche, who's playing well. And, of course, Blaine Stoughton certainly can put the puck in the net. Dougie and Sullivan came over from the Rangers, has 28 and goals. We'll be able to see uh, um, Pee Wee Marouk, over 50 51 goals. 51 goals already. Um, Saved by Molossin on that drive. <laughs> Capitals need a late-season spurt if they hope to catch Pittsburgh. In the Patrick Division, Wayne Merrick digging in the corner. Ruskowski centers in front. Gilly's able to pick it up, and the Islanders come out. Anders Keller, just back from an injury, comes across, feeds Gillies off his stick. Wilson ties him up. Ruskowski back for Chicago. Terry Ruskowski missed a lot of time with a broken wrist. In goes Rich Preston. He was tied up by McEwen. Fires in front. Mulvey pulled down. And back come the Islanders. Gillies, number nine, goes in against Hutchison. Shoots softly and Bannerman sticks it aside. Hutchison comes up. Dave Hutchison, number five, who scored a goal he will long remember out yeah. in Minnesota. We've got that one on picture. <laughs> a 135-footer. Janssen went down. We should, Secord has the puck for Chicago. We should make mention that he scored the goal from about 10 yards inside his blue line. Oh. It wasn't an empty net goal. Right. There was a goalie in there. Trache going in. Tonelli trailing safe. Bannerman, good shot by Trache. As Bannerman wasn't sure if Trache would shoot or pass. Trache comes back across the line. Going in, waits for some help. Trache pulled down, no call. Ron Hogarth, the referee, right there. Pearson goes in, tried to get it to Bossy. Fox trying to clear it, hit Lysiak. Lysiak has the puck. Up come the Blackhawks. Tom Lysiak, number 12. Fires it wide of the net. Played off the boards by Secord. Melanson makes the save. Lysiak in the corner, hit by Pearson. Lysiak to Secord, who shoots wide. Near side, Peter Marsh, back to the point to Hutchison. Hutchison throws it into the far corner, Pearson there. Around for Langevin. Peter Marsh bumps him, up the board, Tonelli gets it out to Trache. Dave Hutchison back for Chicago. Hawks doing a good job defensively here in the first period. 11.40 to go, no score. Trache feeds Bossy. Bossy saved by Bannerman. And the rebound knocked down by Hutchison. Bannerman covers up. 11.33, no. Whistle did not blow. And the puck is still in play. Out to center, down come the Hawks. In goes Marsh. Feet across. Bully's shot is knocked away by Melanson. The rebound comes in front and cleared away by Trache. Out to center ice. Hawks recover. Beamster sends it in. Picked up by Langevin, checked by Savard, winds it around. Greg Fox is there. Fox tried to feed Bully. Trache takes it away. Out for Dwayne Sutter. Beamster gets Sutter out of the play. Bannerman gets it up the boards. Gillies bangs with Fox. Puck still in. Dwayne Sutter puts it in deep. Wild around near side. Out comes Rick Patterson, number 26 for Chicago. Gillies whacking at him. The puck taken away. Melanson gets it tomorrow. Up the boards to Dwayne Sutter. Here come the Islanders. Dennis Potvin carries. Potvin goes in offside. 10.38 to go. First period. No score. We'll be right back. Sam Rosen and Pete Stemkowski live at the Nassau Coliseum. Almost to the midway point of the first period. No score. And some good work by both teams. Bannerman looking strong in goal for Chicago. Excellent shift that last couple of minutes by the Chicago Blackhawks. They're putting some pressure on the Islanders in their own zone, and that's exactly what you got to do when, you, when you're playing a team that's as awesome as the Islanders. And one thing when you watch them, they do all the basic fundamental things so well. They have systems. They have the wingers on the boards. The defenseman for the Islanders, when he goes back, he knows exactly where his partner is. They execute very well and that's why they're so successful but if you want to beat them you have to hurry them you have to get on top of their defense you can't let the guys like Pearson and Potvin get the puck have a couple of seconds to look around and make that first perfect pass out of their zones Chicago did that at one uh, shift and they created some scoring chances for themselves Hawks come up after their icing call brought that face off down Janssen poking it ahead 
Preston tying it up in center ice. Dwayne Sutter digging. And let's see. Ron Hogarth checking. Puck is still loose. And finally freed up. Pried loose and put in the Islander zone. Mike McEwen is there, number two. Chased by Raskowski. Melanson learning a couple of tricks from Billy Smith got the stick up on Raskowski. Bannerman stops the puck. Puts it in the corner. Dwayne Sutter is there. It's off the boards. Hutchison sends out Raskowski. The captain of the Chicago Blackhawks gave it up to Janssen. Out to center, Dwayne Sutter. Sutter ahead for Janssen. The rookie from Sweden. Throws it in deep. Stopped by Bannerman for Doug Wilson. Wilson playing without the protective helmet for the first time in several weeks. He had suffered a broken jaw back in November. Nystrom plays it off the boards. Almost over skate. Secord hits him. Puck is loose. Nystrom gets it to Janssen. Around to McEwen. 9.20 to go first period. No score. McEwen gets away from Lysiak and carries the puck. Right side, Nystrom. Nystrom trying to get it back to McEwen. It was blocked. Nystrom comes in front. Poked away nicely by Doug Crossman, the rookie defenseman. And up comes Peter Marsh, number 17. Marsh going in. Centers in front. Secord missed. Beamster sends it in for Secord. Secord trying to center. Loose puck. McEwen gets it up. Kept in by Feimster. Ahead for Lysiak. Puck is still loose. Where is it, guys? Cleared by McEwen <laughs> all the way down. Well, that shift, uh, that, that's the one line that the Islanders, I, I think, they'd like to see improve. Billy Carroll is playing center out there tonight. Butch scoring is not in the lineup. But this is one line that I think that the uh, Al Arbor would like to see get a little mileage out of the Bobby Bourne, Bobby Nystrom, and whether it be Billy Carroll, Wayne Merrick, or... Uh, or Butch Goring at center line. That, that line has not really done much the last several weeks. Warren played. hasn't had a good season at all. No, uh, he has not really played that well. His the scoring is down. He's got 20 goals, 21 assists. He's a he's got a tremendous amount of potential. He, of course, had that contract dispute earlier in the season, missed much of training camp, and he just hasn't really caught up to the others. But the you know, playoffs are coming, and that's where it really counts. <laughs> I shouldn't say he hasn't had a good season at all. He's got 20 goals, which for most people would be a fine season, but Bourne had over 30 goals last season. Langevin gets it out for Tonelli. Tonelli tried to feed Bossy was streaking. It's knocked away. Feimster for Chicago. Out to Lysiak. And the veteran center carries. Lysiak goes in. Try to feed across for Secord. Trottier gets it out to Tonelli. Right wing is Bossy. Tonelli tried to get it in front. It was blocked nicely by Crossman. Lysiak has the puck. Tom Lysiak carries. Out to center ice. Marsh plays it off the boards. Broken up by Lonsman. Marsh gets it ahead for Secord. Two on one. But Lysiak, Secord got safe. Rebound score. Rocky Secord with his 39th goal of the season. And Chicago leads it one to nothing. Well, a two on one break by the Chicago Blackhawks. And the Islanders don't get caught too often on two on one breaks here. Secord, he wants to give it to Lysiak. Watch, he wants to give it to him. Changes his mind. Shoots the puck. Melanson makes a nice save, but the puck comes right back to Al Secord, and he tucks it behind. We'll look at it again. Here's Secord breaking in a two-on-one. He's looking, he's looking. The defenseman, the other defenseman, tries to stay in the, in the middle. It gives Melanson the shooter. Uh, the rebound comes right back to Al Secord, and Secord has his 39th of the season, and the Blackhawks lead by a score of one to nothing. 23-year-old Al Secord in his fourth season in the NHL. Coming over in 1980 from Boston in a trade for Mike O'Connell. And what a year he's having. That's his eighth goal in the last nine games, including this one. Puck frozen in the Chicago zone. We'll get a face-off. Assisted by Marsh and Lysiak at 12.01. Lysiak had three assists on Sunday and picks up one here tonight. Lysiak, a fine assist man in center ice for Chicago. Well, he's been around a long time. That experience. He was hurt. For a good part of the middle part of the season, as we see. Well, I'll tell you, you can't get too much more errors <laughs> on top of that. Keith Magnuson recently was stepped down as uh, coach of the Chicago Blackhawks. And Bob Fulford, uh, the general manager, has stepped behind, and he will be the coach for the Blackhawks for the rest of the season. I would imagine that the Hawks will be looking for a new coach next season. Out to the point, Janssen sends it in. Hawks are five and three since Fulford took over. John Marks gets it up to center. And the Islanders' own McEwen is there. Chicago leading it 1 0. Al Secord putting in a rebound of his own shot. Hutchinson screenshot saved by Melanson. Just picked it up the last second. Caller couldn't clear. Wilson throws it in deep. Round the board. John Marks, the big guy, hits Bourne. And they look to freeze it. Rick Patterson works it free. 
Patterson bumped in the corner by Longevous. Chicago Blackhawks, tough for checking. Marks braces it. 7.14 to go in the first period. 1-0 Chicago leads it. We'll be back in just a moment. Stefan Pearson, the fine defenseman going off, seems to be okay. Al Arbor, the Islanders coach, standing behind him. I often wonder those defensemen, uh, you know, I don't, not many of them wear those, uh, those special ankle guards that they had in the old days. They make the skates much different, but uh, uh, here we'll see exactly where he gets. This is on the uh, five-minute penalty. The shot will come through, and it'll get him right on the ankle here. It'll come from the right of your screen. Here's Pearson coming out to challenge the Chicago shooter right there, standing there holding his ground. He's looking around to see if there's anybody open. Here comes the shot right there. Here he makes like the goaltender, stops it right there on the uh, right or his right or left uh, right ankle and he has to stay on the ice for about 20 30 seconds after that before he was able to get off the attended to him i'm sure between periods and he looks like he's fine and ready to go period two the blackhawks leading the islanders by a score of one to nothing let's see if that fine defensive work by the islanders killing off that five minute penalty to nystrom gives them a lift coming into the second period right now chicago starts off by throwing it in deep in the corner, Marsh and Tonelli up the boards, kept in by Feimster. The rookie fires. It's blocked out by Trottier all the way down. And Bannerman is there to stop the puck. Murray Bannerman throwing it out of the center ice. Pot van there. Back in the, uh, in the Chicago zone, Trottier still in. And the Islanders are offside. Opening minute of play. There's the rookie, Dave Feimster, 23-year-old, born in Detroit, That's Michigan. And attended uh, Colorado College. Yeah, he is a rookie defenseman with Dallas last year in the Central Hockey League just called up from New Brunswick of the American Hockey League. He's trying to fill some of those gaps that the Chicago Blackhawks have on that back line. Brown out. Sharpley is still out. Bob Murray. Bob Murray's out. Doesn't look like any of them will be back this year. That's the sad note. I think one of them is skating. We'll be back in a couple of weeks ready for the playoffs. Islanders come up. Hot Van carries on side. Try to get it in deep for Bossy. Broken up by Marsh. And back goes Kenny Morrow for it. Morrow throws it across the Pot Van. Comes back to Melanson. Leaves it for Morrow as the Islanders regroup. Islanders uh, who were blowing teams out during their record winning streak. Uh, having a little difficult time here with the Blackhawks. Finding it uh, difficult getting going. Potvin feeding Trache. Bossy goes to the left side. Feed to Bossy going in deep. Trache's in front. Centering pass is blocked. Bossy still going after it along the boards with Feimster. In comes Lysiak. Ron Hogarth, the referee, right in the middle. They battle along the boards. Morrow works it free. His pass blocked. Here's a break for Secor. Al Secor goes in and shoots wide. Lysiak has the puck. Lysiak hit by Trache. Back pass to Fox. His shot is wide. Feimster keeps it in. In the corner, Secord, checked by Potvin. And the puck to Trotje, checked from behind by Lysiak. Lysiak pulled down, sh shot by Secord, save Melanson. Morrow gets it up the board to Tonelli. Islanders clear the zone, but it's broken up by Doug Wilson. Chicago keeping control here. That line of uh, bully Lysiak and Secord just doing a great job. Lysiak for checking Trotje. Gave the puck up, and Secord had a good scoring opportunity. Gillies on ice. His pass off the skate. Ruskowski gets to it for Chicago. Ruskowski with a feed for Wilson. Wilson goes in with a drive high and off the glass. Melanson ducks. Oh, he got his blast. nine iron out on that one. Up the boards. Wayne Sutter gets to it. And he's checked by Mulvey. Good job by Grant Mulvey going in with Rich Preston. Back pass out of the zone offside. 17.37 left second period. Chicago leads 1-0. We'll be back in just a moment. Fifteen thousand and eleven here at the Nassau Coliseum tonight. The Chicago Blackhawks leading the Islanders 1-0 on Al Secord's 39th goal of the season coming at 12.01 of the first period. Very unusual position the Islanders find themselves. They're usually ahead. They have outscored their opposition. Uh, we'll check the figures. I got them in front of me, but they have really gone on a scoring rampage in that 15-game winning streak, and it's very unusual to find them in this position down after 23 minutes of play. Battle in the corner. Rich Preston and Doug Wilson for Chicago. Brent and Dwayne Sutter for the Islanders. Frees it for a faceoff in the Chicago zone. Doug Wilson, number 24, the fine defenseman. 
for the Chicago Blackhawks. The thing with the Blackhawks is I think they can start to believe that they can actually beat this hockey club. You come in and all you do, you pick up the newspapers and Bossy has done this, Tranche has done this, the team has done this. Then you got to step on the ice and play against this guy. Uh, I think that last 10 minutes of that first period really gave the Blackhawks a lot of life. And they, they're playing with a lot of confidence. They're checking well and they've started to skate, something they weren't doing in the early part of that first period. Rich Preston with the puck, feeding in deep. Grant Mulvey in the corner, hit by Langevin. Ruskowski gets to the puck. He's hit there by Gillies. Loose behind the net. Ruskowski gets it. Blocked by a sliding Stefan Pearson, and Pearson's on top of the puck. Well, Pearson seems to be okay. He's sliding out, blocking it some more. They find the fenceman for the Islanders. Stefan Pearson in his fifth NHL season. There's what Dave Longevin, this is what you want your defenseman to do. Take the puck, carry out. There's Clark Gillies coming in after Ruskowski. Ruskowski able to shake off. Gillies come behind the tuck around on Melanson, but uh, Stefan Pearson able to get himself back into position over there and fall on the puck. There's a big man for the New York Islanders. Clark, Clark Gillies, Gillies closing in on 30 goals once again. Islanders in their own zone. Bobby Bourne has the puck, throws it behind the net. Kenny Morrow has it. Morrow carries up ahead off the stick of Carroll. Gave it away to Greg Fox. Greg Fox up the middle. Dennis Savard, 97 points going in. Savard pulls up. Centers, shot by Higgins, and it's blocked and picked up by Carroll. That's what he does so well, Dennis Savard. Watch him the rest of the night. Great with the puck, able to stop, look, wait for his position, for his uh, players to get into position and feed them. An excellent scoring opportunity. Melanson up with a big save. Dennis Potvin with a puck, fires across, intercepted by Tim Higgins. Higgins clears the zone, Potvin back for it. 16 15 to go, second period. Chicago leads it 1 0. Bobby Bourne, number 14. Bumped by Ted Bully. And it's worked free to Savard. Up come the Hawks. Savard waits for some help. Savard cross ice to Feimster. The rookie shoots. Deflection goes wide. In the corner, Kenny Morrow. Up the boards for Nystrom. Fox takes it away. Pass is blocked. Fox gets it back. Billy Carroll four checking. Off the boards. Morrow plays it for the Islanders. Hot man checked by Peter Marsh. Billy Carroll, number 25, feed for Gillies, broken up by Secord coming back. Nice defensive play by the Blackhawks. Peter Marsh clears the zone. It's coming down side of the net, icing waved off. Thomas Janssen behind the net, up to Gillies. Back for Janssen, dangerous pass. Marsh almost intercepted. Janssen goes in. In front for Keller is blocked by Wilson. He sends out Lysiak, one-on-one -on -one against McEwen. Lysiak avoids McEwen, goes in with a backhander, save Melanson. And Wayne Merrick has it for the Islanders. Big save by Roland Melanson. Off the shot by Tom Lysiak. Doug Wilson for Chicago feeds Lysiak. Lysiak with Secord. Knocked away, the Islanders. Pennelli hooked from behind by Wilson. No call, Pennelli falls down. Keller has the puck. Keller, cross ice McEwen, couldn't control. He's hit by Lysiak. McEwen in deep to Wayne Merrick, number 11. He kicks it over to Tonelli. Centers for Keller breaking in, is by him and out of the zone. Well, the fans are still calling for a penalty. They thought their Islander player was hooked from behind. But referee Ron Hogarth right there, no call on the play. Islanders catch the Blackhawks changing, bossy shot wide. Rebounds all the way out of the zone. 14.20 to go. Second period, 1-0. Chicago leads it. Two line passes whistled here. We'll give it a face off with 14.17 to go. Second period, Chicago leading 1-0. And we'll be back in just a moment. Sam Rosen and Pete Stemkowski live at the Nassau Coliseum where the Chicago Blackhawks playing some Good defensive play on the New York Islanders. All right, we mentioned that scoring that the Islanders have. In their last 30 games, the Islanders have scored 156 goals, have given up only 78. That's a ratio of 2 to 1. Out in center ice. Bossy comes away with it, throws it in. Feimster is there. Dave Feimster, 23 years old from Detroit, Michigan. Thrown all the way down, icing waved off. Behind the net, Langevin up the boards to Bossy. Out of the zone of Trotje with Tonelli. Tonelli takes the puck and goes in against Feimster. Tonelli falls down again. Maybe some problems on the ice. Tonelli has fa fallen down. Last two times down ice. In goes Gardner with a shot. Save made by Melanson. Young Bill Gardner with a good drive. 
Islanders come up. Tonelli carries. Tonelli across. Lost control. Taken away by John Marks. Marks lumbers back for <laughs> Chicago. Not one of your faster skaters. Oh, Green to Fox. I, I gotta tell him you said that. Back to Big John. In front. Backhander goes wide. Patterson's backhander went wide. He was tied up by Langevin. Off the stick of Bossy. And down goes Bossy. Over his back goes Mark. Bossy gets it to Tonelli. Two on one with Sutter. Shot wide. Hits the outside of the net. Brent Sutter in the corner. To Tonelli behind the net. Bossy's in front. Tonelli off the stick of Brent Sutter. Potvin shoots. Missed. Bam on the shot. Shoots. Deflection. Save. Rebound. Score. John Tonelli. Tonelli puts the rebound in. And it's tied at 1-1. The Islanders. Finally able to get on the scoreboard at John Tonelli earlier. Had an excellent scoring opportunity. A two-on-one break took the shot. But the goaltender, Bannerman, made the save. Here we'll see John Marks will lose his stick. Here we'll see Bossy going down. Marks going over him. Now this is where the play will start right here. You see a great second effort by Bossy. Gets up, gets the puck up. Now here comes Tonelli. He's in on a two-on-one. He looks, looks, takes the shot right there. I think Bannerman just got his skate on it. He's able to clear it. Then the action begins in and around the uh, Chicago Blackhawk goal. And finally, Tonelli, here he is at the side. He'll shoot it out front, looking for somebody out front. There's the shot coming back to the point. You see Marks has to get rid of his stick. He broke it. Potvin gets it up high. Bannerman able to get it on his chest, but the puck will drop right there. There's 27, John Tonelli. And his 29th goal of the year, John Tonelli, Tonelli from Punt Van and Sutter. That coming at 7-11, and we're tied at one. John Tonelli, and here it is again. Ice level shot. There you see the save by Batterman, and Tonelli able to put in the rebound. John Tonelli, in his last three games, coming into tonight with four goals, three assists, seven points. So his fifth goal in the last four games. All his important. sixth goal and 14 points in the last seven games. He's really been a great addition to that bossy Trottier line. He had the game-winning goals last week uh, in the win over Philadelphia to tie the winning streak, and then the game-winner over Colorado Saturday night that set the record for the Islanders. Blackhawks come back in, put some pressure on. Mulvey tied up by Janssen. Mulvey centers in front. Shot by Preston is wide. Raskowski in the corner. Ruskowski sends it in deep. Broke it up by Brent Sutter. Gave it away to Ruskowski, but knocked away by Janssen. Three on two Islanders. Gillies carries. Gillies. Wayne Sutter on the right. Brent on the left. Shot wide. Rebound. Loose. And put in the corner by Preston. Ruskowski. Cross ice. Wayne Sutter is there. Up the boards. McEwen shoots wide. Rebound near side. Janssen keeps it in. Thomas Janssen, number three, looking to shoot. No, gives it to McEwen. He shoots. Saved by Bannerman. Rebound to Mulvey. Whistle blows. A penalty coming up against the Blackhawks. And the Islanders will have their first power play. 11.29 to go, second period. Tied 1-1. One -one. We'll be back in just a moment. And we'll see Wayne Barrick on a partial two-on-one with Clark Gillies. I think Batterman may have just leaned a little bit towards Gillies, who was bro broke, uh, breaking down that left side. Here, Merrick actually was going to give it to Gillies, changed his mind, let the shot go, and Batterman just able to sprawl out and make the save on the play. Here's the defenseman, Dave Hutchison, as a screen to take that shot. 5.31 to go in his first period. Murray Batterman in his second NHL season, 24 years old. Originally a fifth round draft pick of the Vancouver Canucks. Shot from the point by Lundgren, save, rebound, Bossy scores! Mike Bossy, who is having a tremendous season, comes through with his 45th goal, 108 points, the Islanders lead 2-1. to one. Everything so important, that man there that knows how to put the puck in and at Mike Bossy, right from the faceoff, so important, you see two of the better ones. In there, Lysiak in Trotsche, the shot back to Langevin. Here you'll see, just shoots it, that's all. Just get it towards the net. Bannerman makes the first save. Mike Bossy all alone, and you don't leave a guy who can score well over 50 goals in a season alone in front of your net. Here's from the faceoff, back to the point. There's the shot, Bossy puts it in. The Islanders lead 2-1. to one. Back to the live action, Islanders break in. Trotsche behind the net, beats Bossy, broken up by Lysiak. Trotsche gets it back to the point to Pearson. Time of the goal, 14.33. Tonelli tied up by Fox. Tonelli has the puck. 
feeds Bossy. Bossy in deep for Trottier. Trottier to Tonelli is trying to save by Batterman. Oh, do they work the puck beautifully. Bossy, Trottier, and Tonelli. Bossy to Trottier who scores! Mark! Brian Trottier! I'll tell you, we mentioned if you want to shut off the Islanders, they've got so much power, but you got to stop this big line of Trottier, Bossy, and Tonelli. Just some great work in the corners by John Tonelli. A great save initially by Bannerman on Tonelli. Here you'll see the puck in the corner. Trotchy will come up with it, let the shot go. It looks like from almost an impossible angle, had Bannerman off that post, Trotchy will beat him high right there. There's the shot from almost a bad angle. Bannerman leaves the post. Brian Trotchy, goal number 41 of the season, and suddenly the Islanders have cut fire. Here's the shot over the shoulder. Islanders three, and the Chicago Blackhawks one. Assist by Tonelli and Bossy. Two goals for the Islanders in 37 seconds. They lead three to one. Gillies in the corner. Feed to Brent Sutter is broken up. Out come the Blackhawks. Savard carries. The game has turned around in a hurry. Ted Bully goes in deep. Feed in front blocked by Morrow. Bully again. Checked by Potvin. Bully shot blocked by Dwayne Sutter. Bully gets it in deep for Savard behind the net. Savard checked by Morrow. Up the boards, Dwayne Sutter has the puck. Blackhawks recover, Hutchison tied up by Gillies. And offside the call, the goal scoring. Bossy, his 45th from Langevin and Trotche at 14.33. Trotche, his 41st at 15.10 from Tonelli and Bossy. And there you see with two points, Brian Trotche now has 100 points on the season. He has scored over 100 points in five consecutive seasons, and he now has a 17-game point-scoring streak. Doesn't look too happy. That's not very <laughs> calm. Hey, listen, you know, does it every year. What's oh. the big deal, guys? <laughs> Melanson with a save. What a season for Brian Trotche. Only he is one of four players to score 100 points or more in five consecutive seasons. Ruskowski has it. Ruskowski with a feet ahead off the stick of Grant Mulvey. Clear to Dwayne Sutter. The Islanders with three goals here in the second period have turned things around and lead three to one. Gillies past Dwayne Sutter. And this is Doug Wilson. Wilson sends it out, broken up by Anders Keller. And Mike Bossy has a goal and an assist in this game, and he now has 109 points. What a year he's had. Nystrom. Feed across to McEwen. Nystrom and Mulvey fell down. Ruskowski comes away with a puck, breaking down, looking for a two-on-one. Feed to Preston. Preston shoots, Malance, and saves. And he covers up. 3-0, two to go, second period. Islanders three, Chicago one. We'll be back in just a moment. Here we'll see the Chicago Blackhawks breaking out on a two-on-one. Nystrom gets dumped just inside the Chicago blue line. McEwen, a bouncing puck, misses it. Ruskowski breaks out. And Preston is coming in on his off wing here. The defenseman leaves the, the shooter to Melanson. Here he comes out at the top of the screen, leaves those legs wide open, and he gets it right in the belly and covers up on the play. Just over three minutes to go in this second period. Back shot by Feimster, knocked away by Melanson off the blocker. Under three minutes to go. Islanders leading it three to one. Goals by Tonelli, Bossi, and Trache. Born going in. Warren in control, puts it in front, off the stick of Keller. Bannerman makes the save and holds on. What a play by Bobby Bord. He directed it towards the net. He knew that his line mate Anders Keller was there. Keller just trying to get the puck through his legs, deflect it, make it change directions. Here's Bourne right there. Keller, top of your screen. Here's the shot right there. Keller is tied up pretty good, gets a stick on it, is able to make it go towards the goal, but Bannerman very alertly makes the save. Good busy man in the second period. Chicago coming on in that uh, second half of that uh, first period. Came on a little bit in that second, but suddenly the Islanders have turned it on and have taken a commanding 3-1 to one lead. And the big guys have done it. Tonelli is 29th. Bossy is 45th. Trotche is 41st. Nystrom in the corner, tied up by Fox. In behind the net. Greg Fox has the puck. Up for Ted Bully, hit by Morrow. 
Battle along the boards. Good work by Morrow and Bourne to freeze it for a face-off. Well, the thing of that particular play, Sam, you see Morrow is able to stand in there. He's able to challenge the puck carrier. A long time ago, a defenseman was told, this is years and years ago, a defenseman was told if he was not 100% sure of getting to that puck, you back out. But now, the way they are playing, Morrow knows that if he goes in and pinches along that board and takes the puck carrier, he knows that one of his forwards is going to come uh, back and cover up for him. Uh, an outstanding job, Kenny Morrow. He's big, lanky, and awfully difficult to get around. Off the faceoff, Islanders number one line back on ice. Dave Feimster has it, gives it over to Lysiak. Now to Fox, set up for Lysiak. Hawks come up. Secord loses. Bossy checked by Fox, throws it in. Secord sends it back. And Bossy knocks it over the boards. Bossy swinging. <laughs> Never missed like a baseball. He's got a magnet on that stick, I'm sure. In the last 31 games, the Islanders are 25 wins, five losses, and one tight. Looks like Al Arbor is using uh, his big line of Trache, Tanali, and Bossy against the big line of the Chicago Blackhawks of uh, uh, Secord, Lysiak. And, and they've got Patterson on the Patterson right wing. That time. They've had Bully play out there a few times, but Arbor's going with his best against uh, Bob Fulford's best. Wilson feeding Lysiak. Bossy checking him. Patterson on the far side. Sends it in. Race for the puck. Pearson and Secord. Up the boards. Trotje clears it out of the corner that lost it. Battle along the boards. Pearson tied up. Trotje goes to the boards. Bossy gets it up to Trotje. And here he comes. Left wing to Tonelli. Longevin going in deep. Tonelli the shot, deflected in front. Bannerman sticks it aside. Secord lost to Trotje. Back to Pearson. He walks in and shoots. Save made by Bannerman. Secord clears the puck out of the zone. Boy, everything opened up there for Stefan Pearson. He couldn't believe it. He got that puck back at the point, waiting to shoot it. Everything opened up. He kept drifting and drifting and drifting. Finally let the shot go, but he was wide. Bossy has the puck with a minute and 15 to go in the second period. Islanders a 3-1 lead. Wilson clearing it down. Pearson back for it. Stefan Pearson controls the puck. Bangs it around the boards for Bossy. Mike Bossy has scored 26 points in his last 10 games. Nine goals and 17 assists. Less than a minute to go second period. Islanders offside in, Mike, uh, in Brian Trotje's 17-game point scoring streak. He's had 20 goals and 14 assists, 34 points in 17 games, and Bob Pulford has to be a little concerned about what the Islanders are doing. Well, the Blackhawks are on the road now. They'll go and play the Rangers tomorrow night at Madison Square Garden, and they, they are on the start of a four-game road swing. They need some points badly. Fox across the Feimster, Raskowski back to Fox. 50 seconds to go second period. Off the stick of Morrow and way up into the crowd. Chicago Blackhawks coming into this game had won their last two road games in Philadelphia and Boston, but prior to that, they've been uh, awful on the road. They have uh, had their problems. Uh, as we look at a guy that looks like he's got a million and one problems and doesn't have any. Al Arbor. Put on a few. Haven't we all? Yeah, he's going to coach in that Masters of Hockey. We'll see who's put on a few or not. Are you kidding? Are you we're, we're all you trading. Ready, That's Master? coming up on the uh, 7th of March at Madison Square Garden. We we call ourselves Masters, and there'll be a host of, uh, well, some good talent from the past at that game. And I'm sure if you like to relive some of the past and see what kind of shape that some of us are in, and you <laughs> in the New York area, why not drop in and see a nice exhibition, we hope. And that's coming up on the 7th of March. Greg, in deep. Mulvey checked by Morrow, worked free by Brent Sutter. And Brent Sutter carries up. B to Dwayne, out of Gillies. Gillies fires it in. Eight seconds to go in the period. Bannerman stops it around the boards. Ruskowski tied up, and that'll do it for the second period here at the Nassau Coliseum. And a big period for the New York Islanders who come up with three goals. After they trailed 1-0 into the first, John Tonelli at the 7-11 mark with his 29th from Potvin and Brent Sutter. Made it 1-1, one, one, then at 14-33, Mike Bossy with his 45th. Langevin and Trotje, the assist made it 2-1. 37 seconds later, Brian Trotje from Bossy and Tonelli with his Trotje scoring his 41st goal at 15-10. Made it 3-1, and that's where we stand. Shots on goal for the Islanders, 14 
in the second period. Total 25, Chicago 8, total 18. End of two here at the Nassau Coliseum. The New York Islanders 3, the Chicago Blackhawks 1. We'll be back in just a moment. Back at the Nassau Coliseum, Chicago Blackhawks coming back on the ice. As Pete mentioned, this is the first game of a four-game road trip for the Blackhawks. They play tomorrow night, Wednesday night, uh, at Madison Square Garden against the New York Rangers. And from there, they go on to Los Angeles and Colorado before they head back home. And the Blackhawks have had their problems on the road this season, so uh, they had one in uh, Philadelphia and Boston their last two road games prior to this game tonight but uh, overall this season on the road the Chicago Blackhawks uh, have struggled along with a 6 19 and 3 record and uh, while at home they score 157 goals on the road they've only scored 104 and it's been a team that's had problems there's a guy who's won his last nine starts Billy Smith thought he would start tonight in goal but uh, he did not play last Wednesday. Melanson was in goal in Pittsburgh in a game uh, that the Islanders lost 4-3 to three that ended the winning streak. But Melanson, Al Arbor, comes right back with Melanson well, tonight. He's played a fine well, game. Billy Smith leads the National Hockey League in victories, as you mentioned, with 25. Everybody has to play. I know that the Islanders are gunning. They want to finish with most points in the NHL. they got a lot of pride in that. But uh, I'm sure that Al Arbor and Bill Torrey are well aware of the fact that they have to give everybody plenty of ice time because, uh, well, we're 60 games into the schedule, 20 games to go before we start playing for all the marbles the playoffs he has to give people like Melanson Merrick uh, the Billy Carroll Anders Keller you have to give these guys ice time you can practice and practice but you certainly don't get yourself in top condition without plenty of ice time in the games and this is what I'm sure Al Arbor and Bill Torrey in the back of their minds not only going for number one in points overall but they have to give everybody a lot of ice time and get themselves ready physically for the playoffs had a change in scoring on the first Islander goal scored by John Tonelli. Mike Bossy gets an assist instead of Brent Sutter. So Bossy with a goal and two assists in this game. It's that scoring on the first goal is Tonelli is 29th from Potvin and Bossy at 7-11 of the second period. Had an offside for the Blackhawks. And we get a faceoff again in center, in center ice. Just underway third period. You know, look at Dave Longevin, the big defenseman, the man in the middle. Chews his nails, huh? American-born <laughs> hockey player. I often wonder, I say, how do you motivate a team like the Islanders? You go in and you win and you win and everything goes so well for you all the time. I wonder sometimes what kind of a pep talk that Al Arbor has to give these guys. Just opens the door and say, go. They uh, seem to motivate themselves. The sign of a great hockey team. Battle in the corner. Trotje comes away with a puck at the back of his own net. Taken away by Lysiak. Loose Potvin is there. He's tied up. Battle, the puck on the back of the network, three by Lysiak, shot between his legs. Melanson stopped it. Battle in the corner. Hawks putting on some pressure. Marsh shoots wide. Secord after it with Bossy. Back pass to Fox. Fox the drive, deflected wide into the corner. Antonelli plays it. Out off the stick of Bossy. Bossy tied up along the boards, being hooked by Feimster. Fox winds it around for Secord by him. Chicago's goal in the first period by Al Secord, his 39th of the season. Hotfan carries in. And the captain of the Islanders holds up, looks for some room, fires across to Gilly, and a shot hits the crossbar and went into the crowd stopping play. What a shot by Gillies. He didn't waste a, well, a movement on that there shot. There you see Podvan. He's able to gain control of the puck inside the Blackhawks zone. Uh, the flow is actually away from Gillies. He comes drifting in right at that face-off circle. Got a little bit too much on it and put it over top of the net. You know, I'll tell you, we don't see, uh, if you come to the Islander games, you gotta be a winner. We saw <laughs> something you're not gonna see too often between periods. They have these score over. They got that little hole in the middle of the net, and the fellow, hey, walked up to the puck, shot it right through the middle, walks off with the car. Go. Hey, you're a winner. You come John, to the Islander games. John Ferentino. In my and area, brought Long his wife Beach. to the game. They're sitting in the upper decks, and they're going home with a car. In front, goes all the way through the crease as Preston was tied up. Gillies out in center for the Islanders. Cross to Stefan Pearson, going in against Doug Wilson. Pearson with a move, and Wilson with a better one on defense. Hutchison blocked by Dwayne Sutter. Wilson winds it around, it's out of the zone. Pearson back for it, Ruskowski chasing him. 
Gillies in center for the Islanders. Fox for Chicago. Ruskowski lifts it in. A bouncer, big bounce. Played nicely by the first baseman, Roland Melanson. Bobby Bourne out to Bobby Nystrom. Vita Carroll, he's hit by Feimster, the rookie. In front for Nystrom, and Feimster got back. Here comes Dennis Savard. Savard going in against Morrow. Look at Morrow take the puck away. Ted Bully, number 29. Now Rick Patterson for Chicago. Two and a half minutes gone by, third period. Islanders three, Chicago one. Off the stick of Bourne. Good defensive work here. Bourne takes it away, feeds Carroll. Carroll back to his man, saved by Bannerman. 17-20 to go, third period. Islanders over the Blackhawks, three to one. We'll be back in just a moment. Dennis Potvan coming very close to getting his 14th goal of the season. Here you see Bobby Bourne giving it to Potvan. The wrist shot right here, a drop pass. Here's the wrist shot right on the glove. Bannerman, an excellent save, making the save. Nystrom coming in there looking for a rebound. You see it again, coming out in front. Here's Nystrom, a play earlier, coming in, getting tied up with the uh, Chicago defenseman on the play. Play in the Chicago zone. Dave Hutchison sends it up to Bully. Blocked by Morrow. Doug Wilson's pass out to Tim Higgins, number 15. Potvan back. Higgins, back pass for Bully behind him. Hutchison wrist shot over the goal, off the glass, behind the net. Savard checked by Potvan. Morrow up to Nystrom. Here come the Islanders. Billy Carroll, left side is Bourne. Feed to Bourne, off his stick. Hutchison for Chicago. Taken away by Carroll. Carroll, chased by Wilson. Ted Bully there for the puck on the far side, lifts it out. 16.40 to go in the game. Islanders leading it 3-1. to one. They've won 12 straight home games, and they're 19-1-1 one one in their last 21 home games. Hot fans to Gillies is offside. Skate off the blue line, 16.31 to go. For Big Clark Gillies is closing in on another 30-goal season. Well, you know, just keep them happy. Don't get them riled up. You know, the Blackhawks, Bobby Pulford going behind the bench with Keith Magnuson. Uh, resigning that position he certainly has to be under the gun the Blackhawks not having a good year they are currently fighting for a playoff position last year they made the playoffs but were ousted in straight games against the Calgary Flames so I'd, I'd have to go out on the limb and say that Pulfer's job would have to be in jeopardy in Chicago Tom Janssen back for it across to McEwen Wayne Merrick coming down the right side, going in against Fox. Merrick takes it in deep, trying to beat Gillies, blocked by Bannerman. Puck bounces up, Bannerman gloves it. Merrick goes down, taken down by Greg Fox, and uh, that was the linesmen a... get in in a hurry to make sure things don't get out of hand. Well, that was a good play by the defense, but this is what you have to do. Merrick coming on the outside, he's with Fox. Now, Fox will stay with him, even after he lets that puck go. Rather than turn and look and come back, he stays with him. He has eliminated a man. Fox took out Merrick. Gives them a pretty good bump into the uh, sideboards and Bannerman able to clear and cover up on the plate. Blackhawks try to come out and do big John Marks just recently called up by the Blackhawks from Indianapolis. Puck goes into the crowd after Reg Kerr broke an ankle uh, in the game against Chicago against Buffalo in Chicago and Reg Kerr out for the season. Big John Marks called up. John Marks was a uh, nine years with Chicago and certainly uh, you know with the youth that the NHL is going with at uh, 33 years old the Blackhawks didn't figure him as a regular this year they sent him down to the minor leagues but with you mentioned Sam with Reg Kerr out the University of North Dakota native is up and whether he'll stay the rest of the year with the Blackhawks is, remains to be seen Islanders trying to come in Janssen has to wait to, for Merrick to get on side but the Islanders still offside on the play 15 47 to go third period Mark Gillies 29 goals this season he has scored 30 or more goals five times you know, in his NHL it's career. Almost, Sam, it's, uh, you know we sit up here what it's almost we never say anything negative about the Islanders it's I mean tough. this club is the got strength oh, we mentioned that but probably maybe one weakness that I can see with this club maybe at center they have right. Trotsky, they have the, uh, the uh, 
The Sutter Goring is not having a good year. Merrick has been in and out of the lineup. Billy Carroll has not played much. So if there is a weak spot, if there is a weak spot on this Islander club, it just may be at center. Across the line goes Trache against Doug Wilson. Poked away by Hutchison, kept in by Pearson. Pearson pokes it in deep, knocked away by Wilson. Loose puck. Trache gets it. Trache along the boards, hit by Lysiak. Bossy comes in to help out. Bossy works it free. Bossy pulled down, got a shot off. Save is made, but a penalty called on the Chicago Blackhawks. What a play by Mike Bossy. 15 19 to go in the game. We'll be back in just a moment. Dave Hutchison, 421, tripping penalty. Mike Bossy doing some great work in the corner to come up with this puck. Here he goes wide, brings that stick around here. Hutchison gets that stick way out there. You Look see him pull shot. Bossy out. And Bossy takes the stick with him. And with 15, 19 to go, the Islanders will be on a power play. Here's Hutchinson reaching out, getting the stick up from Bossy. Pulling he him down. He still gets the shot off <laughs> while he's lying down. Right, he's got a magnet on that stick. That puck, when you're a goal scorer, Sam, the puck just seems to follow you around. He's lying on the ice. He's back to the goal. He's still got one on net. 15, 19 to go in the game. 4.41 the time of the penalty to Dave Hutchison. His second penalty of the game. Islanders second power play. They've scored a power play goal in 14 of their last 15 games. Bob Pulford making a change. He's upset behind the bench, letting the officials know about it. Well, when he gets upset, he gets very red in the face. <laughs> and that face is glowing right now. Trache on the faceoff against Rick Patterson. Trache, Tonelli, and Bossy on for the Islanders with Potvin and Pearson. 3-1 Islanders leading it with three goals in the second period. Loose. Bossy shoots. Save Bannerman. Pearson to Bossy. And the Blackhawks come away. Patterson feeds Bill Gardner. Gardner going in. Taken away by Bossy. Now to Tonelli. Poked away. Bossy. Cross to Trotje. But his pass for Potvin led him a little too much. Fox able to break it up and clear all the way down. Minute and a half to go. And the penalty to Dave Hutchison. Islanders next game is Thursday night against the Pittsburgh Penguins. The team that broke the Islanders' record winning streak at 15. All the way down is cleared by Fox. Minute 15 to go on the power play. During that winning streak, the Islanders had beaten the Penguins four times. So the uh, Penguins got a measure of revenge. Blackhawks doing a good job standing up at the blue line and clearing the puck all the way down. That line's been out there. Trache, Tonelli, and uh, Bossy, they had a minute before that penalty, so they've been out there a long time. They're they're changing. Tonelli has gone off, and Clarky Gillies is out there right now. 50 seconds to go in the penalty to Dave Hutchison. Here's Potvin carrying. Potvin going across. Bossy's in. Bossy coming down. Takes it behind the net. Feeds back to McEwen. McEwen's drive. Save. Batterman. Love save, and he holds on. Puck coming from behind. Bossy, who stayed on that ice a long, long time, goes behind the net, tries to circle it, but the puck does come back to Mike McHugh, and here you see Mike Bossy behind the net. He's looking for somebody in front. There you see three Islanders, Trache, Potvin, and uh, Clark Gillies. Finally, Mike McHugh is wide open at the point. The puck comes through about waist high. Bannerman makes the save. 39 seconds to go in the tripping penalty to Chicago's Dave Hutchison. There you see the clock telling all. The score, the time left in the game, the time left in the penalty. Islanders with a man advantage. Ruskowski able to clear all the way down. Potvin with Rich Preston chasing him. Potvin gets it up. Brent Sutter ahead to Dwayne Sutter. And now Dennis. Potvin carries. 20 seconds to go on the man advantage. Crowd with a chant of let's go Islanders. As McEwen pokes it in, Doug Wilson sends it out. 10 seconds to go on the power play. Potvin just lifts in, but Wayne Sutter was a, off a stride ahead of the play. Offside, six seconds to go, and the penalty to Dave Hutchison. Clark Gillies is really skating tonight, uh, Sam. You know, 60 games, it's a lot of hockey, a lot of traveling. Uh, you've gone through training camp, a lot of practices. This is a lot of players. You start feeling it around this time of the year. The legs are tired, and, you know, you've had it. There's been a lot of hockey playing, but these Islanders, they look fresh. I know uh, Al Arbor gave them an optional practice the other day, and almost the whole team showed up. The Canada team, uh, when you're winning, it's fun to come to the rink, and when you're losing, forget it. Well, you don't even want to get up in the morning. As you said, the guys who are scratched tonight, 
Goring, Moraney, and Lane, guys that could play uh, anywhere else in the league. Uh, you've got that kind of depth. You can sit those players down. Merrick has been out for uh, a time with a rest. Caller was out injured. Gillies going in. Nice speed at Dwayne Sutter. Knocked away by Wilson. Wild around. McEwen is there. McEwen's pass right to Raskowski, who comes out. Teams are back at full strength. Raskowski feeds Hutchison. Back pass to Raskowski. Pulls up. Checked by McEwen. Ties him up. Pulls him down. Penalty called. McEwen will go. Penalty on the Islanders. Preston behind the net. Checked by Gillies. Ties him up. Preston pulled down. And whistle stops play as the Islanders recover. 12.51 to go in the game. We'll be back in just a moment. Amrosen and Pete Stemkowski live at the Nassau Coliseum. And a penalty called on the Islanders, Mike McEwen. Mike McEwen at 7.09 will get called for holding. Here's Muskowski going in. You'll see the clamp being put on him by Mike McEwen. Just getting a little bit over aggressive there. Ron Hogart calling the, the penalty. So we see Mike McEwen, the uh, Blackhawks here getting a chance to get themselves back in the game with just under 13 minutes to go in this third period. Second power play for the Chicago Blackhawks. Their first one was a five-minute major in the first period to Nystrom. And the uh, penalty to Nystrom for high sticking in that first period. The Islanders were able to kill it off the entire five minutes. Islanders break out. Trotje with Carroll. Trotje feeds Billy Carroll. Scores! It's a shorthanded goal for Bill Billy Carroll. Another assist for Brian Trotje. The Islanders lead 4-1. to one. Billy Carroll has only played 49 games this year. He's only got five goals, but he gets number six right there. A shorthanded goal. And just a tremendous setup by Brian Trotje. Here you see Longeman getting the puck out. And here's Trotje going down. He waits for Carroll. He's going to give it to Carroll. He knows where he is. He waits for Carroll to just get that stride. Puts the puck between the stick of the Chicago Blackhawks defenseman. And there's Carroll on the backhand. Slides it past Bannerman. A shorthanded goal. Trotje to Carroll right there. Carroll has a Chicago defenseman all over him. He beats Bannerman to the far side. And the Islanders lead 4-1. to one. Back live. Trotje went in against two men. And shot, and Bannerman had to make a save to stop another shorthanded try. The puck is deflected into the crowd, stopping play. A minute 31 to go on the penalty to McEwen, and the Islanders have had the only two shots on goal. Upcoming on your Total Sports Network, Wednesday night, live at 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 Pacific, college basketball from the Big East Conference. Seton Hall goes against St. John's. St. John 7 and 5 in the conference, 17 and 7 overall. Seton Hall 11 and 13 overall, but led by the fine guard Dan Calandrillo. Will go up against St. John's at St. John's. Now we have a penalty called on the Blackhawks, Secord. and that evens things out. Al Secord's going to go for the hook. 12 14 to go in this third period. We'll be right back. Al Secord goes off for hooking at 7.46. There's a minute 23 to go in the penalty to the Islanders' Mike McEwen. So eventually the Islanders will have a man advantage for 37 there's the, seconds. There's the penalty right there. Top left-hand screen. Secord just puts the stick a little bit underneath the Islander a player's arm, pulls him down. Hogard calls the penalty on the play. Team skating for a side. Islanders leading 4-1. to one. That shorthanded goal by Billy Carroll is fifth goal of the season sixth goal of the season second shorthanded goal assisted by Trotje and Langevin at 726 Ted Bully comes back for Chicago try to get it ahead for Savard Savard was offside 1152 to go on the game 4-1 Islanders leading it Islanders shorthanded goal was their 15th of the season and the guy who leads them in shorthanded goals isn't even in uniform but I put scoring as has five goals. This youngster, Wayne Merrick, getting a chance to play tonight for the Islanders. They have won 12 in a row at home. He's not such a youngster. He's 29. He's been in the league 10 seasons. Well, yeah, while well, in the National <laughs> Hockey League, he's uh, close to retirement. <laughs> Got to watch that. Janssen getting away from Savard. Janssen carries. 50 seconds to go on the McEwen penalty. Merrick is offside as Janssen stick handled at the blue line. Merrick went across. Out yep. of the play. 48 seconds to go on the penalty to McEwen. 125 to go in Secord's penalty. And Al Arbor checking things out. You know, he should have been a mortician. <laughs> now, now, have you ever seen a man with so much emotion? Here's a guy that's uh, <laughs> pulley. I mean, things got to be churning inside for him. He's got to get this club back on the track. But 
El Arbor, the same. He's got that somber look. And I'll tell you, what a sense of humor this guy's got. He doesn't say much, but you get him going. Got Both these good. guys. You know, all these guys, I used to play with all these guys. Pulley with in Toronto and, of course, back in Rochester with Al Arbor. And both of them were fine hockey men now and both doing an outstanding job. Launcher and shoot save made by Bannerman. Savard with a puck. Comes up ice. In 30 seconds, the Islanders will have a man advantage. Dennis Savard carrying in. Broken up by Janssen. He comes back one-on-one -on -one against Dave Feimster. Thomas Janssen takes it in. Falls down. And Feimster able to clear the puck to the boards. Janssen still working. Tied up. Billy Carroll comes in. Carroll try to get it to Bourne. There's Bourne. Bourne with the puck feeds Langevin. Langevin shoots. Six save by Bannerman. Bourne. Hit by Bully. Janssen has the puck. A man advantage for the Islanders. McEwen is back. Langevin throws it in deep for Carroll. Carroll has the puck. 30 seconds to go on the man advantage for the Islanders, who lead 4-1. to one. Bourne gets it back to Langevin. Langevin off the boards to Bourne. Bourne walks in, feed to Carroll. Carroll shoots wide. Oh! He's thick handled and deked and shot wide. Carroll had a chance. He I knew he had to get it up. He was on his forehead, took it to the backhand, just had to get it up and over Batterman. He did, but he didn't hit the net. That'll do it for the penalty to the Chicago Blackhawks, Al Secord. Sutter goes in with a shot deflected off the stick of Wilson. Secord comes back, teams at full strength. Brent Sutter digging for the puck, but it's underneath Rick Patterson. Stopping play with 10.09 to go in the game. The Islanders leading it by a score of four to one they scored three goals in the second period and then the shorthanded goal here in the third by billy carroll at 726. here we'll see the shot here longevin passes it off here's the play right here born coming in coming in on the island their goal takes the shot right there now there's billy carroll right there he's on his forehand he goes to his backhand just has to get it up and over but puts it well over the net and there's the story we're in period three and then Trotsche, bossy line, done it all here tonight. New York Islanders and Chicago Blackhawks. Last time they met a couple of weeks ago in Chicago, Islanders won it 8-2. to two. Islanders have won the first two meetings of the season between these two teams. Puck hit Ron Hogarth, the referee. Fans get a kick out of that. Lysiak knocked away by Brent Sutter. Wilson able to clear out. Gillies knocks it down. Al Secord comes away with the puck. He has Chicago's only goal in the game. Langevin, rather, Potvin is back for it. Poked away from him in front. Lysiak shoots wide. Gillies with a puck along the boards. And out of the zone it comes. Brent Sutter carries. Poked away from him. Secord for Chicago. Nine and a half minutes to go. Peter Marsh. One on two. Morrow takes him out of the play. Gillies after the puck with Secord. Lysiak puts it in front. Dennis Potvin casually knocks it aside with a skate. Wayne Sutter trying to break. Goes in against Fox. Fox takes it away. Good play by Greg Fox. Who's had his problems uh, last most of this season in Chicago. Getting a lot of boos from the fans at Chicago Stadium. But he's played a uh, pretty good game on defense tonight for the Blackhawks. Down the left side. In goes Bossy. Drops for Trotje. Score! Brian Trotje does it again! Well, I'll tell you. Talk about knowing what's happening on the ice. Whatever. Even look at Bossy skating up and down that wing. You don't even think he knows where Trotje is. But these guys know each other so well. And Brian Trotje with his second goal. He also has two assists. Gives him... Four points for tonight. Here's Bossy to drop pass. Trotsche lets go the slap shot. Batterman right through his legs. And the Islanders lead by a score of five to one. Two goals and two assists in this game for Brian Trotsche. He has 42 goals and 60 assists, 102 points on the season. Give Bossy his third assist of the game. One goal and three assists for Mike Bossy. In deep, Pinelli tied up by Crossman. Bannerman winds it around. 11.09, the time of the goal. Trotje's 42nd from Bossy and Pearson. There's Bossy again. What a season he's having. He leads this team in assists. Trotje tied up by Fox. Fox trying to clear. Grant Mulvey gets it out of the zone. Mike McEwen back for it. Thomas Janssen to Mike Bossy to Brian Trotje. 
Trache holds, throws it in front for Tinelli off his stick. Oh, they work beautifully. Yes. Tinelli behind the net for Bossy. Bannerman got his stick on it. Janssen keeps it in. 7.50 to go in the game. Islanders leading it 5-1. to one. Tinelli to Trache. Knocked away. McEwen keeps it in for Tinelli. Now to Bossy. Trache goes for the net. It just hits the outside of the net. What a feed from Bossy to Trache. Drives by Janssen to stick the side by Bannerman. Preston has the puck and just lifts it out of the zone. What a performance by that line. It's as if they don't, they don't even look. They just know where the other person's going. It's give and go. You give it to me, I'll go. Give it back. You go, I'll give it to you. And every time they've been on that ice tonight, they've been creating scoring chances for themselves. Trache, two goals, two assists. Bossy, a goal and three assists. Tanelli, a goal and one assist. They've been all over the ice completely dominating the game. They're just beautiful to watch. Seven minutes to go in the game. 5-1 Islanders leading it. Shot by Savard is wide. Dennis Potvin has the puck. Potvin up for Bourne. Bourne checked by Bully who knocks it away. Ted Bully going in. He shoots wide. Far side. Nice from tied up but able to clear the zone. Doug Crossman number 23 back for it. Crossman out to center. Islanders have the puck. Mike Bossy has 66 assists this season to go with his 45 goals. Nystrom fell down and offside is the call. Cheer goes up from the crowd. The Montreal Canadiens were defeated in Quebec 4 to 3, and that ends the Canadiens' unbeaten streak at 16. And it breaks their road winning streak at eight, which had tied an NHL record. Let's take a look and see exactly how Ken Morrow plays defense. See, he's not looking at the puck. He's looking at the defender right there, looking at him. There's no puck as far as Ken Morrow is concerned. Goes, looks that the Chicago player right in the eye and gets himself tangled up with him and makes a nice defensive play. The, in the third period in the last 16 games, the Islanders have been a very strong third period club. They have outscored in the last 16 games. The Islanders have scored... 38 goals to the opposition's six. There was Trache feeding across for Caller. Here's Pearson in front. Trache just couldn't handle the rebound. And Preston comes out. Trache playing with a fourth line of Merrick and Caller. Pearson has the puck. Out for Merrick. Try to get it to Caller. Couldn't do it. John Marks has the puck, number 11. 5.55 to go in the game. 5-1 Islanders lead it. They trailed 1-0 into the first. Scored three goals in the second and two here in the third. A shorthanded goal by Billy Carroll. And Brian Trache with his second goal of the game. Tanelli and Bossy have also scored for the Islanders. Al Secord is 39th for Chicago. Trache, five and a half minutes to go. Feeds Anders Caller. Caller goes in, puts it in front. Fox is there. Knocked away. Hutchison behind the net. Chased by Caller. Marks. Has trouble with Janssen. In comes Caller to put it in deep. Islanders don't stop skating for a minute. Hutchison comes up. Rick Patterson puts it in deep. Off the corner. Gillies ties up his man. Janssen has the puck. High speed to McEwen. McEwen against Dave Beamster. Lost control. Beamster takes it away. Gillies takes it back. Throws it in front. Stick to side by Mannerman. Crossman pass deflected into the crowd. 4.53 to go in the game. We'll be back in just a moment. And Pete Stemkowski back at the Nassau Coliseum. There's newlywed Tom Lysiak. Oh, boy. You got married, huh? Yeah. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Thought it would never happen, huh? Islanders are offside on the play. 4.45 to go. Happens Can to everybody, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> You know, the thing about the Islanders, here they are, 5-1. You think, hey, okay, this one's over. Let's eat out the clock. Let's go with 35, 40-second shifts. Al will change them quick. Everybody play. These guys are going as hard right now with four minutes to play as they were in the opening right. period. Peter Marsh for Chicago. That final score again, Quebec 4 and Montreal 3. Montreal had come back from a 3-1 deficit to tie it. Quebec wins at 4-3, breaking the Canadiens' unbeaten streak at 16, and they had tied an NHL record with eight straight road wins. They lost in Quebec, and that streak is over. Brent Sutter shoots it blocked by a sliding Dave Feimster. Peter Marsh for Chicago. Lysiak feeds Marsh. Marsh for Secord, but Secord's ahead of the playoff side. 
little pile up in front. Sammy, see that? Just a particular play here. The game is gone. The Islanders have won it. See them back checking. The forwards are putting their head down. Instead of getting lazy and say, hey, this is in the bag, they come back. See two guys. There's Clark Gillies coming back. Another defenseman back there. Two Hawks coming up the ice. But there's four. There's three Islander uh, defenders plus the goaltender. It's two against four. Not going to score too many goals that way as we look at Peter Marsh, right winger from the uh, Chicago Blackhawks, 25 years old. It's his third year in the National Hockey League. He was originally drafted by Pittsburgh in 1976. Played in the WHA for a couple of years. Islanders come up. Four minutes to go in the game. Tanelli down the left side. In against Hutchison. Nice speed for Bossy. Bossy taken out of the play by Marks. Who rides him down. Hogarth is there. Tanelli in front. Lost control. Lysiak picks up the puck. Hooked from behind by Tanelli, taken away by Trotje. Lysiak gets it back. Lysiak bumped by Morrow, gets around the bossy, comes back to kick it away. Here comes Tanelli. Trotje's ahead, nice speed. Hooked away by Marks. In front for Bossy, and he was tied up by Mulvey getting back. Tanelli for Trotje, try to get it to Bossy, who's pulled down. No call. Well, Ron Hogarth letting some things go here late in the game. Islanders come back. Trotje takes it away, gets it to Tonelli. Cross, Bossy's with him. Tonelli shot hits a post. Oh, that was the kind of shot he had Saturday night that won the game with 47 seconds to go, beating Chico Resch. But the, uh, the one against Resch was right on target between the legs. Raskowski for Chicago. Holds the puck. Now shoot, save made by Melanson. That might be his first save of the period. Hasn't had too much work in this. Uh, Last 20, uh, 20 minutes here, 2.48 to go in this third period. Islanders 5, Chicago 1. We'll be right back. This is ESPN Classic. Sam Rosen and Pete Stemkowski at the Nassau Coliseum. Here comes John. Uh, that's Bossy coming in, getting pulled down. Well, they think there should have been a penalty there, but hey, the defenseman doing his job. He's draping all over it. The Islanders just coming down in hordes. What a season Mike Bossy has had. Everybody knows about his goal scoring. He scored over 60 goals twice. Last season, he scored 50 goals in 50 games. And he's had over 50 goals all four seasons in the NHL. He's, and this season, he's the leading assist man for the Islanders. Oh, what's he got? Four points here tonight. He's got yeah. 100, 111 points oh. on the season. 45 goals and 66 assists. Islanders offside. Langevin gets the, dumped on the ball. Sam, the thing is with the Islanders, you don't catch them on a bad night. I mean, you think you catch these guys sometimes when just things aren't going wrong. Uh, everything is, things are just going wrong with this bossy. He's so consistent, Trotje, and uh, they're, they're consistent. They're just good every night. I mean, tonight you don't even see guys like Bourne and Nystrom. They don't even figure. You don't even think they're playing tonight as we see Langevin come in and get a pretty good check by the Chicago player defender. 2.20 to go in the game. Islanders come up. The pass from Pearson hit Carroll in the back of the leg, and he's limping. He's going to the bench. Langevin fires it in. Played off the corner. Nystrom going into the corner with Rich Preston. Nystrom puts it behind the net. Beamster is there. Checked by Bourne. Taken away by Merrick. Gets it to Bourne. Nystrom's in front. Back pass to Langevin. Langevin shoots. Deflected by Grant Mulvey. Picked up by Terry Ruskowski. Clears the zone. 150 to go in the game. And a penalty call. Trippy call on the Islanders. Bob Nystrom. Stefan Pearson, Pearson will get the call. <laughs> 149 to go. We'll look at it again. <laughs> Stefan Pearson will hook the Chicago player uh, right here. We'll see it right there. Here he goes. Number 16 breaking away for the Chicago Blackhawks, Rich Preston, but Pearson pulling him up. And Stefan Pearson with 18 11 of this third period. There you look at it from another angle. And the Blackhawks with very little left in this uh, third period. The only thing they can really have in their minds right now is to finish strongly and get themselves ready for their next game against the Rangers at Madison Square Garden. Third power play for the Blackhawks in the game. And I really think a big turning point in this game was in that first period, despite the fact that the Hawks played well in the second half of that first period. They had a five-minute major penalty called on Bob Nystrom of the Islanders. They had a man advantage for five minutes. And the Islanders able to keep them off. And 
hold the game close at one nothing. No question. They were winning one nothing at that time, and they had a five minute penalty where the man does not come back on the ice if the team scores. Had the Hawks maybe taken advantage, got one, maybe two goals, we would have seen a different yeah, hockey game here absolutely. tonight. Absolutely. Minute 35 to go in the game. Islanders leading it five to one. As it was, the Islanders bounce back with three goals in the second and two here in the third. Lysiak feeding the Secord, knocked away by Morrow, and he'll clear all the way down. Murray Bannerman leaves it off for Rick Patterson with a minute 20 to go in the game. Pearson for tripping at 18-11. Secord carries. Billy Carroll limped into the Islanders dressing room for some treatment. He, of course, finished for the game. Hopefully it's not a serious injury. He was hit on a pass by Dave Longevin, hitting the back of the leg with a puck. One minute to go in the game. Patterson for Chicago. Islanders will make it 13 straight wins at home. 20 wins, one loss, and one tie in their last 22 home games. 16 wins in their last 17 games overall. And the numbers just get bigger and bigger. Battle along the boards. Crossman and Tonelli getting the sticks up. They both go down. Lysiak winds it around. 35 seconds to go. Savard going in. Taken away by Trottier. Feed it to Nelly. Two on one. Tonelli shoots. Saved by Bannerman. Islanders still going strong. 20 seconds to go in the game. Hard to believe. 20 seconds to go, and they're going hard. Tonelli, Trottier, McEwen, just a great defensive play. Off the stick of Savard, Feemster feeds Bully. Bully shoots, saved by Melanson, rebounds wide. Five seconds to go. Good check by Trottier in the corner on Feemster. Loose puck, that's it. Islanders have defeated the Chicago Blackhawks. Put this one in the record books. A fine effort by the New York Islanders. Roland Melanson holding the Blackhawks to just one goal. And the Islanders with three goals in the second period by Tonelli, Bossy, and Trottier. Billy Carroll, a shorthanded goal. Trache with his second of the game in the third period. And the Islanders have defeated Chicago by a score of 5-1. to one. We'll be back in just a moment.